All right. Good morning, every pony. Um, so I came into the episode a little bit late. Uh, Scootaloo was getting shown around. Apparently, uh, by S Rainbow Dash's parents, all the stuff that they had collected over Rainbow Dash's life so that she could get to know Rainbow Dash's history for a report on who inspires her the most. Very, very proud parents who don't know that Rainbow Dash is a wonderful. Looks of shock and surprise. Now why, why could Rainbow Dash not have wanted her parents to know that she's a rain... A... Then that. No. <laughs> a Wonderbolt. Well, um, turns out her parents are obsessive. And it's... Not something the show really handles well. Um, after some multiple very embarrassing and frankly dangerous displays of support, um, cheering for their daughter, Rainbow Dash finally blows up on them because they have been causing trouble for her. And Scootaloo then blows up on Rainbow Dash, and Rainbow Dash starts crying and runs after Scootaloo and starts explaining to her her side of things, you know, the embarrassment, the fact that her parents cheered everything. And then, you know, Scootaloo explains, you know, it's, you know, that's not really necessarily a bad thing because it made her the very confident person or pony that she is. Um, and so Rainbow Dash goes and she holds a nice big event to show her parents that she's sorry and she really does appreciate them. But they never really address the elephant in the room, which is her parents are completely overboard. In fact... They actually end the episode with her parents and Rainbow Dash cheering for Scootaloo's report the way they used to cheer for everything uh, with Rainbow Dash when she was younger. And I do mean everything we're talking. Um, they, they had bronzed the diaper that she was wearing when she first learned how to fly. The apple that she was eating when she, first, when she grew her first tooth. They took a picture and cheered maniacally for Rainbow Dash getting a participation trophy. And frankly, I think Miss Cheerley is not particularly fair. A well-researched, even overly researched, and well-delivered report frankly, in my opinion, deserves more than a B, but, you know, what do I know? I'm not actually a teacher, so, and so, show ends, parents are just as embarrassing and, frankly, reckless as they've always been, and now Scootaloo is subject to the embarrassment that she had just told Rainbow Dash, she wished she had parents like that, so. Which does bring up an interesting question. Where's Scootaloo's parents? But, you know, there there is a fine line between being supportive of someone and being obsessive. Celebrating... Every little mediocre thing someone does with the enthusiasm and fanfare of celebrating a real accomplishment 
is going to diminish a person's accomplishments when they do happen. And they're going to be horrendously embarrassing for everyone involved. And in some cases, dangerous. Her parents were firing off fireworks in the middle of a Wonderbolts show that nearly hit the Wonderbolts and Rainbow Dash, the first one. It just literally whizzed right past Rainbow Dash's head. So, you know, when, when you start getting things like, you know, firing off explosives without, you know, permit and trespassing on government property, I think you've gone a little bit way, no, just way past the point of being supportive. Same thing with, you know, celebrating with loud cheers, someone just hanging their towel on their locker door. That's just... There's a reason why people celebrate a person's first steps. And not the few million that come afterwards. The first ones are a an accomplishment. Everything else after that is normal. So I'm using an episode very heavy on the cringe humor. Um, definitely worth the watch. It's also a very good illustration of what happens when parents spend more time trying to be supportive of their children than actually listening to their children. Because, I mean, yeah, Rainbow Dash doesn't talk much, but, and I'm autistic, and, you know, even I can tell that she was mortified half the time, but... You know, when you spend all your time with your eyes closed screaming, you're not going to see these things. So, but hey, we finally get to see Rainbow Dash's parents. And they are loud. Very, very loud. So, have a nice day, everyone. If the pacing of this video seems a little slow, my apologies. I fell down the stairs last night, so my ankle's still hurting a bit, so... Um, it's a little bit more difficult for me to collect my thoughts at the moment. Um, almost missed this video because it has just been a very, very busy season for me so far. Even when I'm not at the farm, there's something going on with the family that tends to require my presence. And I was almost unable to do today. So, next week, I look forward to another, uh, another new episode of My Little Pony and... Please do look forward to another video, one that is hopefully not quite so long as this one. Later.